Okay, hello everybody, it's me, Carrie, and I haven't uploaded to this channel in a few months, and I want to change that. So this is a big throwback to 2016, but do you remember when I uploaded videos of my Carelix, basically old Flash games I made when I was a lot younger? Well, I want to bring that back because I have this game called Rising Shrinking Rainbow, which I started development for in 2012, but this is an unfinished version because it's a Flash game and I do not want to develop any more Flash games. So the gist of it is that it's like multiplayer Doodle Jump, which was a game that was really popular in 2012 when I first made this. And we have one player here who's teal, but I can click the up and down arrows to change the color. But we can also add more players and it is like four player, but it's only locally on the computer, right? I didn't have like online multiplayer because that's too hard. But let's go with pink and we use the arrow keys to move and I'm just gonna click start game. So when I say it's like multiplayer Doodle Jump, um, what I mean is that there's like one human player and then there's 15 AI players. And I remember I spent a long time trying to get the AI to be as skilled as possible. But every, I don't know, 100 feet up this tower, and by the way, I'm the, the pink guy with the thicker outline. Every 100 like feet or so, or 100 platforms, there is a threshold. Like, do you see all these flags coming, um, hanging from the threshold? Basically, the, the slowest doodle jump jellyfish to cross that threshold will be eliminated. And the elimination animation is actually like really gruesome in a way. So you want to be the last, you, 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 want to, you don't want to be the last person to cross that threshold. And basically, it's sort of based on The Amazing Race or this thing I made in 2010 called Talented Racers, um, where you just keep going up and up the tower and eventually everyone gets eliminated one by one until there's one winner. Now this was an unfinished project, so I think when you actually do get to the end, there's no like win animation. Um, but like you can just like, I guess, bathe in the glory of having known you won. And there's lots of power-ups, and there's springs and all that. Um, but I think what I wanted to tell you guys is that this is a Flash game, right? And Flash is dead. Like you can't even download Flash Player legally if you wanted to, I believe. Um, oh, see, I'm in first place. And so the way that you, the only way that I found to run this reliably is to uh, install Newgrounds Player, which is what I have running right now. I could drag it over later uh, if I'm not like focusing on the game. And Newgrounds Player will let you play old SWFs. So I've installed, or I've uploaded this game to my GitHub repo, and you can download it from there. Um, and it's really fun because, like, it feels like the only thing you need to do to win is just not get in last place, but that's actually harder than it sounds. And there's also lots of power-ups that keep things interesting. And I'm sure like a lot of chaotic things have been happening in this game and you don't, you, like, you're seeing it all but you don't know what's going on. So I can try to explain it. So, uh, you can see there's a bunch of like, grey platforms. Oh, by the way, I'm frowning right now. You can see that visually I'm frowning. And what that means is that I'm in last place so that if I, d if I don't improve my rank while I'm frowning, I will be eliminated. It's basically an indicator that something uh, very risky is about to happen. Oh shoot, and now I'm last place. But, but like, there's these uh, rainbow platforms that pop up occasionally, and if you hit them, they're power-ups, and you'll get more powerful, and the platform will disappear. So only one person can get a power-up at once. It's kind of like item boxes in Mario Kart. And they're a really good way to level the playing field um, in this game, obviously, because, like, you can... Uh, as the developer, I can make it so that the power-ups unveil themselves more frequently the further, like, behind you are. Um, so it's like, if you're in first place, you won't see many power-ups show up for you. Um, and so, like, you'll go slow, but then, like, if you're really far behind, like, power-ups will appear left and right. Uh, so there's power-ups that, like, really help you out, like this, um, oh shoot, I might get eliminated. Oh, oh my god, I think I'm out, I think I'm out. Oh shoot. Okay, this up arrow. Oh, I made it, I made it! Okay, so, uh, there's a lot of things to say. Um, the AI are also, like, adjusting, like, they adjust to your skill level. So if you're in first place, they will try to do a lot better, and if you're in last place, they'll try to do worse. And I think Mario Kart does that as well. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, some power-ups really help you, such as the one that's a big up arrow, which will essentially just give you a huge upward velocity that will like... Oh shoot, there's only one person behind me. Oh no, oh no, it's just the two of us. One of us will be eliminated, I bet. Oh god, there's only... Okay, well if you look on the left, there's like a ranking leaderboard, and you can see... Oh, 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 okay, I, I got the power-up. Ah, f Oh no, this is not good, this is not good. Please, please, if I land on that... Okay, okay, oh my god, oh my god! Uh, if you saw that, um, the, the green, dark green, uh, jellyfish was just behind me, and 
got pulverized because they got last place. And I don't know if you can see the animation, but basically when they get eliminated, they get split into nine different chunks, basically a three by three square. And each chunk sort of operates like a physics simulation. So it'll like bounce around and rotate. Oh God, oh God, this is not good. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, so I lost. Um, you can see there's nine chunks of my body like bouncing all over the screen. And I remember I spent a lot of time trying to make it so that the like velocity of the jellyfish would be consistent as soon as it crossed that threshold so that like when it bursts, there was no kind of change of velocity. It would just be like a seamless, pff, like a firework. Um, but I got sixth place, which I think is pretty typical to what I like average. And the rest of the AI will just keep playing without you, which is like really spooky. And what's actually like even funnier is that now that they don't have to worry about the human player, they, I think they play at their maximum ability but we can't really see what's going on because they're outside of the range of the screen and these arrows at the top, they're just so long that we don't know who's ahead and who's behind except we look at, like we can look at the um, preview. So light green made it into the top three. I don't think it's worth um, letting this run to completion so I'll just restart the game again. So by the way, you can see that I have Newgrounds player playing this whole thing. Now, this game is unfinished so when you wanna restart the game, there's no exit button so I think the only way to do it is to, I think you have to reload the game from scratch. So, you know, in the Newgrounds player, you click load SWF, browse, and then you find the, the file. So I'm going to double click on that. It's going to open it again. And what I want to show you this time are some of the options. So I'm going to right click, go to quality high so that we get anti-aliasing because it's not going to lag my computer. In the past, it would have. But if you click on more options, you can see that we can adjust the AI player skill, adjust how often power-ups show up. Let's say you're a Smash player, like, for tournaments. I know that the tournament Smash players don't like having too many items because they really randomize who wins. If you're that kind of player, you can lower power-ups to zero. But I find that, like, the more power-ups there are, the more chance there is for upsets, which I like. And then, you can change the percentage of power-ups that are actually hurtful. So if you get annoyed that too many people are getting power-ups that hinder other players and it feels like it's holding everyone back, you can make it so that 100% of power-ups are helpful. Aside from that, I think we can just try again. I can, if I set AI player skill to 100%, this will be a good kind of display for a perfect play with the AI. So if I click start game, I'll go with a different color this time. Let's go with dark red. I'm gonna lose right off the bat because these AI can predict way better than me how to play. So what's, okay, you can see they're already like way higher than everyone. Basically what they do um, is, oh, I actually survived that one. I, I'm actually shocked. So this is supposed to be like the hardest setting, but I'm surviving somehow. Um, basically as soon as a AI jellyfish jumps off of a platform, you can tell it, like it knows its own upward velocity, so it can tell the exact maximum distance it can jump, right? So then it just like chooses the platform that's the highest within that range. And I think it also disqualifies platforms if they're too far away horizontally. Um, and so like there is like a mess up rate. Oh God, it's really close. It's really close. Oh God, it's, oh, see, I, yeah. I only survived four legs. I didn't actually expect to make it that far. This time I will play as light green. I'll just use the default settings. So I made this game in 2012. Um, Okay, actually, first of all, I can explain so, some more of the power-ups. So, you can see that some jellyfish have had these uh, circular, like, big white circles around them, and none of the other jellyfish can move when they get, like, covered up by the big circle. So there's a power-up that is the snowflake, and when you hit the snowflake, you get, like, right there, light blue had it, you get this, like, freezy circle thing, and if other players, like, it, it essentially lets you, lets you pass other players because they'll be frozen in your tracks, in their tracks, I guess. And then there's also the the spring power-up. So like some platforms are just pure springs. I'm gonna lose this one, aren't I? And then there's the grin power-up. The grin power-up literally does nothing but makes you like cosmetically grin. It's sort of the troll power-up, so you were being froze, frozen by like Cyan right there. And then there's this sheet, okay. I had, I just got the, the dotted rectangle power-up. Ooh, oh man, that was one hundredth of a second from safety. Okay, that's what I really like about this game. Like you get these really, really close calls. The game runs at 60 frames per second. So like technically two jellyfish cannot be one hundredth of a second apart. But if you like calculate how many pixels they are, like you can get like subframe rendering or subframe calculating. Okay, let me briefly show you what it looks like to have multiple players. So if we click add player and then we have one of them be, let's go with green and one red. So we're doing Christmas colors. We have Wacid for green and then we have arrow keys for red. And it just shows a split screen of the two like this. Okay, that's not framed that well. 
I think my webcam is covering it up. But, like, if you had two people playing on the same computer, you can make this work. I don't have anyone in the house with me right now to demonstrate this, so I'm, like, this is difficult for me. I might be able to pull it off because the AI realized that I'm not playing that well, so they'll accommodate me. And you can do up to four players, although I don't think Flash will be able to uh, display everything in real time. Like, it'll start to lag, basically. Okay, I died on the second player but you kind of get the idea. There's also another project I made at the time called Talented Racers, which is basically the same thing, but in a horizontal game. And it's not a game you can control. It's more like you just watch these like randomly moving stick figures kind of like make their own way through a track field, like obstacle course. So anyway, in 2012, I made this game, like the AI started off being really rudimentary. Um, but then what happened was I was like working on BFDI A episode four, so this was like November, October, November 2012. It was the beginning of my sophomore year of high school. And what I realized was that BFDI A5 was taking us a really long time to make. So I thought to myself like, man, oh wait, this was also around the time when like gaming YouTubers were really blowing up, right? Like PewDiePie, I think 2012 was his like water sh or breakthrough year. So I sort of figured that like, gaming content is like way easier to make. You know, one minute of gaming content only takes one minute of your time. So like if I just make a really well polished game and pretend to be the characters, like if I pretend to be Fiery or Tennis Ball battling my way through this game trying to avoid elimination and make it really off the cuff, then I can easily make a 10 minute BFDI episode. I remember uh, Michael and I even like installed Fraps, which was the top um, screen recording software at the time to make it happen but we just found that it was really hard to do commentary off the cuff. And I think through like 2013 and 14, I did like very gradual development to it. I improved the AI, like I didn't know how to do like real AI. Like there's no reinforcement learning. It's just a bunch of hard coded tricks. I don't know, like maneuvering from one platform to another doesn't require deep learning per se. And then five years later, Flash was discontinued. And I sort of figure at this point, I'm not gonna do any more development for this game because like I don't have Flash on my computer. Um, but I would, it would be a shame if all the like hundreds of hours I spent developing this game went to waste, you know? Like all the, the, the little uh, quirks about the power-ups and like, you know, this little UI that says what rank you are and how many seconds you are behind like first place, all these cool things that I like, spent a lot of time developing. It would be a shame if, it, if no one ever saw it. Okay, so I ended up playing this game around 20 or so times and I did eventually win in the end but I want to show you some clips of the ends of games where I got really close to winning. So four really close calls and then the win. Let's watch them. Everyone will be competing on legs 11 and 12 until every, everyone passes through leg 11 and then leg 13 will be unlocked. And like there are certain, oh my God, oh my God, it's gonna be close. Oh, he died. Um, there are very rare situations later up in the tower where you literally end up with impossible. Oh, I'm winning, I'm winning. I could finally color a leg for once. Uh, or maybe not. <gasps> oh, well, I colored it. Okay, yellow. It's me, yellow. So the final two, this is the final leg. I can win this. Okay, I I've been talking, but I should focus. Okay, so I'm going to freeze this. What's crazy about the final two is that because uh, it's one person's in first and one person's in last, and there's like literally no one else, every power... Oh, I lost. I lost by half a second. Every power-up will trigger at a certain number from zero to one. If it's at like 0. 0.4, that means that the, the power-up will present itself when 40% of the contestants have you know, past that point in the tower. Um, oh, yeah, infinite loop. Okay, if, if you let the game run past when the first place person wins, what will happen is the first place person will keep climbing up the, the tower, and then they'll get to the non-existent next threshold, and for some reason that causes an infinite for loop or infinite while loop, and then you'll get this, this warning, which is kind of like silly that I never found a way to fix it. Time to watch the next game. And like, maybe now you, you're inspired to start, oh, she's like, this is impossible for me. How do I know where to land? But like, the AI just know. They just know because they can predict seconds down to the frame. Okay, I hope, okay, oh, 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 okay. I can, st I can still do this. I can, they're still in, ca in reach. Now I'm in second. See, like this game can switch up so quick. So, okay, there, I survived. I'm final three, that's pretty good. And now I'm in first place again. So, so like you can see as the tower gets like fewer, less and less populated, power-ups start to show up more and more just because like, you know, you make up one third of the people who will get power-ups and like they, yeah, I already explained how they're single use. Final two. Okay. Final two, which means that all power-ups will show up between the two of us and like, we'll probably trade off winning 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, okay, if I get the shield up, the up could help. The up could help. Oh god, okay, first place. I'm literally in first place, but anything can happen. No, no, no! Ooh, that might be it. It might be too late. Unless, 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 unless. Oh, I know, but... Oh, oh no, I lost. Okay, so that's my second time getting second place by about a second. I think when it comes to the final two, like, you're gonna trade places back and forth, like, three, four times. So it's really, it's not about being at first at the beginning of the leg, it's about like timing your like transfer so that near the end of the, the final leg, you accelerate into first place and zoom ahead of everyone. Time to watch the next game. Wow, if you get the right combination of up power-ups and the spring, you can just like zoom ahead of everyone. It's so satisfying. Okay, no one else has caught me yet. Okay, the final three has been determined. It's teal blue why am i see i fell so far like literally i was like half a leg ahead of everyone and then i just fell to their level still haven't seen them <gasps> no 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 i want the up i want the up i want the up please please please, please. no 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 god i want that i want that i want that i have, I have the shield i have the shield you can't do anything to me i, I shield okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter oh okay i want that i want that final two final two this might be it okay so we're in the final two which means Tons of power-ups will show up everywhere around us. Gotta get the right power-ups. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta win this. Like, literally everything is counting on this. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. No, no, okay, up, 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 yes. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, I'm literally sweating. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh god, oh god, no, no. No, no, like, oh god, god. Oh, oh, no, I think it's, it's the end, it's the end. Unless there's an impossible jump, impossible jump, please, impossible jump. There's an impossible jump, I think. Okay, I think it's all down to this. Oh god. I'm s so I think there's an impossible jump right there. Like will we literally uh fail at the very last moment? Like why is he failing? Ugh. No, no, oh my god, no. Less than a second away. Okay. Again. Time to watch the next game. Okay, so I think is yellow gonna get eliminated? If if Cyan makes it, we get a final three that's all blue. Final three is all blue. There's no way I'm blue, Dabba D Dabba Doo. Like I think the, what are the chances of this? Like literally three choose six sixteen choose three. That's sixteen times fifteen times fourteen, which is okay, I'm in the final two. I could have win this I'm gonna win this whole thing. I'm in the final two. Um this is the last leg, right? I think is the last leg. Uh sixteen choose three is uh, 16 times 15 times 14, which is, oh god, final two. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, he's right on my tail. He's right on my tail. Oh, uh, this is my fourth. Oh my god, he's got springs though. Oh, but I can get springs. Oh, this always makes me so nervous. Okay, but like, I know that I'm, like, when it's final two, it's like, we're always going to be close. No! God! Oh, that's, that's the worst. God, no. Uh, no, no, I need to get this. This, this. Now fall, fall. Fall! God, fall. Up air, up air. Oh no, I can beat you. No, no, no. No. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh my god. What? Okay, I. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought I had that one. Like, I saw that, like, there were up power ups nearby, and I'm like, if if uh, Cyan Blue gets, gets those power ups, then I'm screwed. But, like, he didn't get those power ups. But he beat me, like, the normal way by just jumping. Okay, so I, I lost. I got second place again by half a second. Time to watch the next game. Okay, I'll do yellow again. This might be my last attempt. I don't want to keep attempting too many times. How, how did I like, how have I gotten second place four times and first place zero times? Like, I really think that when it comes to the final two, it doesn't really come down to, like, I don't want to say it's skill. No, I don't want to say it's luck, but I think that like, because it alternates so much in that last leg, like it really is luck, luck of the draw with the power-ups you get. I think if you get a freezy power up like that one, um, and the other person doesn't have a shield or anything, then like you can kind of keep them at bay for for like half the leg, and that's kind of OP, you know. So like it's it's really like who can get that power up? Who can get? Please, please, please. Okay, good. I killed Brown. Who can get that like the the OP power up at the right time? Like you want to get the freezy power up early on. You want to get the up power up later on. And like near the end of that leg, that final leg, like the last few platforms, it gets really, really intense, especially if you have a hard jump. Okay, I want to get that those springs. Oh wow, that. Oh whoa! So lavender actually got it. Like they know how to avoid upper platforms. Okay, I'll get this, and then I'll get this. I, I that was object permanence in my brain right there because, the, like there was a spring power up that left 
the view viewport. Like I literally couldn't see it anymore, but I remembered it was there, so I fell down downward to catch it and snatch it, and then I would bounce back so fast it was worth it. But I saw myself frown, so it's not all sunshine and roses. I literally was first for a second, like, and then I see frowns. Like, it, the whole crew is so jam packed right now. Why are they so close together? Oh god, I see frowns. I see frowns. We're all in the frown crew. Oh, see, I didn't get that. Okay, literally, Teal's got the stink on them. Oh, Teal's body. Oh my god. Okay, final 10, though, we made it. I think, you know, um, in general, I do better than average on with the AI. Like, I don't usually lose until... Either I lose pretty early on, or I like I make it to final 5-ish. I actually haven't been keeping track. But anyway, we're in final 9, so we're almost at the halfway point. One of the pastel colors is going to leave. Looks like it's it's Lime. Just saw his body right there. Sky Blue kind of comes through with the, the Freezy thing, which is just like really OP. The Freezy thing like lasts so long, too. It's like once they get it, you know that for like half a leg or even more, they're just like going to blast past you. Please, I, I, I like it when it blinks away because I'm like, I do not want you to be able to freeze me for too much longer. Okay. So it looks like, as punishment for freezing me, Sky Blue is going to leave. It's more like a gray kind of met sheet metal kind of blue. Yeah, see, Sky Blue's dead. I do not... See, I look, haha, I see his body parts on the bottom. Like, that's what you get for freezing me. I think it was him. Okay, so final eight, we're in the final half. I want this. Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see, like, I was about to get the Snowflake power-up, which, as we know, is, like, OP, but then, like, I literally started falling, and, like... Like, it became invisible and inaccessible, like, right then. Okay, this is a perfect combo, perfect combo. I'm telling you, Snowflake plus the up arrow is the perfect combo. I might even be able to catch first place. No, I can't. Okay, Lavender's so far ahead if they won two legs in a row. Okay, they're right there, so I can catch them. I can catch them. Ah, oh, those moving platforms really trip me up. But good thing, like, when there's a horizontal shuffle, they all reset, which is good. Okay, Dark Green's out. We're in the final seven. Um... The color palette, we have like the flowery uh, pastel colors at the top and yellow, yellow kind of included. And then we have the reds at the bottom and then blues like the odd one out. Let's get, let's try to get blue out I'm um, in first. Let's try to get blue out because to me, if you look at the final seven colors, blue sticks out like a, th a sore thumb. He's just too saturated. He's a cool color and we're all warm colors. I mean, this, this lavender is kind of, kind of not cool, not warm. Wait, I'm in first. How am I in first? And I snatched that spring, so I'm gonna win. Oh, I d literally didn't win that. That okay? I, I was like, it's so obvious I'm gonna win because I had the spring, but like literally, someone got the up power up right before and like zoomed by. So there's a lot of like similarities with Mario Kart, because with Mario Kart, you can get a blue shell right before you pass, or maybe like someone. I guess in a Mario Kart, there's nothing that like instantly teleports you further ahead. The bullet bill is kind of like a continuous thing, whereas the up power up. Oh, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. The up power up, like, kind of almost instantly. Mm. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, this is not good, this is not good. Please, 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 Okay, I want this, and I want... Ugh, I missed the snowflake. Someone's gonna come up from behind with a snowflake, I just know it. And they're gonna freeze me. Okay, I want that too. And I want the up. No, I want the up. See, I like literally gave it two attempts. I do not need the grin, the grin does not matter. It's, like, the grin is equally as powerful as the up arrow. Oh no, not as the up arrow, as the... Oh god, that's an impossible jump. There's no way in... Oh wait, okay. That's an impossible jump, like, I literally don't know how we're gonna do this. Like, even for me. Seriously? How does this keep happening? Okay. <laughs> oh, what? That actually... That actually saved us. Like, the horizontal shuffle right when we needed it. But I need to focus now because, like, there's final three and, and like, it gets really intense here. And if I don't... If I'm not on my A game, I will lose. Like, okay, I'm ahead, I'm ahead of them, but, like, that could change so quick. All I have to do is slip up and fall once, and then I fall to the bottom. Okay, there we go. There we go. Final two! Okay, so now I can finally win one of these. And also, like, because it's final two, you know, I won't be blocked off. Or I might be blocked off, I don't know. Well, I don't see them anywhere, so, like, that's good. 
Okay, up arrow, please, 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 please. Will this be a win? Like, without them approaching at all? Like, they're so far behind. I, I actually will win this! But, like, there's no challenge because they're, like, so far behind. I actually won! I just won! I just won! Okay, what? Like, literally? That was so anticlimactic, though. Haha, -ha, Pink, you got second, and even though you're still, like, better than 14 other contestants, you literally got pulverized. Take that, and then your guts, like, fade away because, you know, we don't want the ugliness to stay there for much longer. So, I won the game. I proved that I could do it, and I am recording, just wanted to make sure. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, so, I got first place in leg two, second to last leg, got first place for this leg, too, obviously, because I'm the only winner. So, I'm frowning right now. Why would the victor frown if they won? Well, technically, in the code, you're frowning if you're in last place among everyone who makes it to that leg, right? And I'm the only person who got to this leg, which means I'm first place out of one. I'm technically in last place, so it says that I'm... It makes me frown, which is kind of funny. So I guess what I could try doing just to celebrate this victory and bask in the glory uh, is try to finish this victory lap leg. And when I get to the top of it, it's going to crash. You know, it'll create an infinite while loop of some sort. But like, that's okay. And I think um, lots of power-ups. Wow, I got it's a lot of power-ups, but they're like useless. Okay, so, you know, you can see my progress bar on the, on the right. And as soon as I hit the top, it's going to crash. So bask in the glory appreciate being at the top you know oh all these powers are so enticing there's like so many good ones it's gonna glitch in three seconds glitch that's weird like the frame rate dropped for a second there it was getting like 12 frames per second for a second so there we go you can win this game if the stars align if you find this is too easy and you start getting first every time you can increase the ai skill to a hundred percent and then win on hard mode which is just that much harder anyway thank you for watching me play through one of my old relic games that's called Rise Guys or Rising Shrinking Rainbow, Doodle Jump Clone, whatever you want to want to call it. Um, if you want to play it yourself, you know what to do. Go to the GitHub repo linked in this description. But then you also need to install Newgrounds Player, which will help you play Flash games, as you can see. Anyway, one last thing I wanted to say is that I was sort of rushing to get this video out this week because I'm going to be at VidCon 2023, which I think is June 21st to 24th of this week, so it's like coming up next week. So if I'm there, feel free to say hi. That's why I'm going is to say hi to all you guys. So that'll be really fun. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.